What's up friends and enemies? Today is all about peace on the Hoppery and that's because I'm reviewing this beer from Ithaca Beer Company out of Ithaca, New York uh, and it's called the Flower Power IPA. Now because this is all about the 60s I've got my flower in and it took a lot of balls to put that in there for you guys so if you want to give me shit or make fun of me go right ahead that's fine. I even threw my Grateful Dead t-shirt on that's been getting a lot of love lately as well but today it's all about happiness, it's all about drinking good beer, and uh, this is a beer that was sent to me by Big Mike in Pennsylvania. Mike, I can't thank you enough. Um, I've actually been wanting to try this one for quite a while. Um, people reach out to me from time to time and they're like, have you had Flower Power from Ithaca? And of course I always tell them no, it's not a beer that we can get here, um, and it's just not one that I've ever you know, really reached out to get in a trade. But Mike was gracious enough to uh, send me a couple of these and so I'm really looking forward to this. I'm, you know, I've heard a lot of good things about it. People on the East Coast tend to uh, believe that it's one of the best beers coming out of the East Coast. So you know what, I'm always anxious to try a new IPA that I haven't had. Um, this one I, I think is probably going to be pretty good. I see a lot of people talking about it um, and like I said I've had a lot of people reaching out to me um, you know, asking me if I've had it. So. Today we're going to remedy that and we're going to get this one on the show. Uh, this beer clocks in at, uh, where is it right here? I think it's somewhere around 7%. Um, I'm not finding it on the bottle, but yeah, I think it's somewhere around 7%. Uh, but let's go ahead and get this one in a glass. And uh, man, I'll tell you what, really, really excited to try this one. Good IPAs are always nice to have. Um, so this one should be no exception. Well, you know, in terms of talking about the color range of IPAs, um, you know, your West Coast IPAs are traditionally a lot more pale in color, like this one, uh, which is this, you know, really warm orange color. Pretty fair amount of haze on there, good carbonation, got that traditional uh, light uh, white colored uh, head on it. So this one looks very West Coast, even though it's brewed in New York, which, you know, traditionally those East Coast IPAs uh, tend to get a little bit darker, as do the ones from the Midwest, and sometimes even up in the Pacific Northwest, they can be um, a little bit darker due to uh, the malts that they use. But this one clearly looks a lot more like your uh, West Coast style of IPA, so maybe it smells and tastes like that. I do know that they dry hop this one uh, with three pretty prominent hops, uh, one is Amarillo, uh, which should give it a little bit of a, you know, kind of a spicy character. Um, Centennial, which, you know, is typically known for being kind of your um, citrus-driven hops. And then finally Simcoe, which is going to give it a little bit of pininess, uh, sometimes moving into kind of that cat pee territory. Uh, but let's go ahead and dig in. Again, Mike, thanks a lot for sending this one. I really appreciate it. Wow, it smells really good. And I think this one's pretty fresh, too. So you know, really catching it as it, at its prime, getting a lot of, of, of citrus right from the front. You know, that's the thing that I get the most. So lots of that tangerine and orange juice. There is a touch of grapefruit. You know, you can kind of detect that there is some of that grapefruit bitterness in there. Kind of an interesting grassiness, though. It's, it's not as much, I guess, grassy as maybe herbaceous. Um, and it's something that I, I, I don't typically smell in these types of beers. But really just a good, bright, fresh, um, just inviting smelling IPA. So I'm going to go ahead and drink it. And uh, cheers. Wow. Mm. That tastes a little bit different than what I thought you know, having smelled it. Let me give it another sip here. I'm really getting that herbaceous character um, on the front. So it's got this really nice grassy floral component. When I say grassy, not so much to the, like the noble hop variety where it's, you know, real, you know, European grassy tasting. There's enough of this citrus character, enough pine, enough of that grapefruit, that kind of West Coast, um, you know, flavor, you know, underneath there that's kind of keeping it from going too far uh, European, but there's really something grassy and herbaceous in there that I quite like. 
And the reason why I like that is because it's different. You know, I, I, after a while, a lot of these IPAs really start to taste the same. They do have their little um, subtle differences, but at the end of the day, a lot of these IPAs kind of start to blend together. Um, but this one kind of stands out to me a little bit. I really like the grassy and almost sort of a, an herbaceousness that I'm getting out of here. It's definitely different. Um, I'm already pouring more, which is a good sign. Really just an enjoyable beer. I, I do like this one a lot. Um, and I think mainly it is because, you know, it gives you what you expect, you know, which is that really hop forward flavor. There's a good amount of bitterness right up front, which you expect. Good carbonation. It dries your palate out. You know, it makes you want to take another sip. Um, but it's really, again, finally that, you know, that herbaceousness that, that really makes me like this one a lot. Yeah, just a really, really good, enjoyable beer. You know, it does come in these 12-ounce bottles, so I'm assuming they probably come in either four or six packs, probably six packs. Um, if this is something that you can get in your market, man, go get you a six-pack of it. Um, you know, I, I think it's really good to have in the fridge at all times. Uh, very easy drinking. It's bitter, but it's not too bitter. Um, it's flavorful without being bombastic. Um, you know, I'm not scraping my tongue right now, but, uh, you know, really just an enjoyable beer. So, Mike, thank you once again. I really, really appreciate you sending me this one. Um, I think you sent me, what was it, the Big Voodoo uh, Stout or something like that. And, you know, I'll get to that one sooner or later. Uh, but really enjoyed this one and can't thank you enough. Um, but anyway, guys... I'm going to cut it off for here, and uh, until we get to the other next time, uh, let's say cheers and peace, all right? We'll see you.